Welcome to this section, we're going to be covering off badges inside Virialize Operations Manager. In this section, we'll take a closer look at what are the badges, including the major and minor badges, and how they assist administrators with troubleshooting issues. Understanding the health badge, including the workloads badge, anomalies badge, and faults badge. Understanding the risk badge, including the time remaining, capacity remaining, and stress badges. And finally, understanding the efficiency badge, including the reclaimable capacity badge and the density badge. In this video, we're going to go through an overview of the badges and how they assist administrators in identifying and troubleshooting issues, go through the major badges and their relationship to the minor badges, and finally, go through the changes between Virialize Operations Manager 5.x and Virialize Operations Manager 6.x. A Virialize Operations Manager badge is a graphical representation of the state of the current environment or objects. A badge can range from a few metrics to millions of metrics. It provides a summarised piece of useful information that will sometimes take an administrator hours or even days to correlate manually. Now if we have a look inside Virialize Operations Manager, one of the main tabs is the Recommendations tab. This is found in the dashboard list under Recommendations. The Recommendations tab actually highlights some of the major badges and some of their associated alerts towards those major badges, which we'll go into a little bit later on. From a high level we can see the major badges, Health, Risk and Efficiency. One of the most powerful and unique aspects of badges is that they allow administrators to view the same important information all the way from the VM or data store level all the way up to the vCenter level. This is because all objects can have the same set of badges applied to them. They may just slightly differ in the way that those scores and the badges are calculated. By enabling all objects to have the same set of badges, it means we can leverage the parent-child relationships inside Virial's Operations Manager to roll badges up to high-level scores. For example, if we have a series of virtual machines that have got unhealthy health aspects to them, we can then roll that health aspect up into the host aspect or the data center aspect depending on how important that machine is in the environment. The badges in Virialize Operations Manager can be split into two distinct categories, major and minor badges. The major badges are health, risk and efficiency. These badges are represented by the color, red, amber to yellow and finally green, red indicating there is an issue or an alert with the environment. Unlike the minor badges, the major badges don't have a score on them. We'll touch on this in just a moment. All you might do now is quickly have a look at how the major and minor badges used to look in the previous version of Virialize Operations Manager when they could all be seen on one dashboard together. This can be seen in the classic dashboard, which is available in Virialize Operations Manager it's, um, as a disabled dashboard. You can simply then enable the dashboard to get the classic dashboard to show up. If we have a look at the classic dashboard, we can see some of the relationships between the major and the minor badges. Let's start with the health badge. As the definition says underneath, Health is based on the alert definitions you configure to impact the health score. We'll touch on alerts in the later section. But underneath the health badge, we can see the workload badge, the anomalies badge, and finally the faults badge. If we have a quick look at the workload badge, this measures how hard the object is working. In this case, we have vCenter, and that's, account, that's taken into account all the rolled up objects. If we change the object that this was looking at, say a particular, a particular VM, it would usually reflect things such as CPU usage, for example. The next one is anomalies. Anomalies indicates how the amount of abnormal behavior that is occurring. Very important for discovering if the workload is doing something that it isn't usually doing and combined with something, for example, high workload, it may be a reason to trigger an alert. Finally, we have faults. Faults list availability and configuration issues based on a known event. For example, possibly a physical host has got a NIC that has lost connection to the physical fabric. In that case, the NIC redundancy error will be triggered. This is an alert that will be generated inside vCenter and that fault will show up inside Virialize Operations Manager. Moving on to the risk badge, the risk badge again is made up of alert definitions that are configured to impact risk based on alerts and policies that we'll look at later on in this video series. But there are some minor badges that have a strong relationship to the risk badge. These minor badges are, for example, time remaining, which is indicating the number of days before resources are exhausted, capacity remaining, which is measuring the amount of available capacity based on a percentage and based on the total amount of capacity, and finally stress, and the stresses occurs when an object regularly runs out of resources on a particular schedule, or is regularly pushing some boundaries around CPU, memory, etc., and there's indicated on the schedule. Finally, we have the efficiency badge. The efficiency badge is showing us about what possible optimizations we might be able to make in the environment. For example, that includes the badges such as the reclaimable capacity badge, which is looking at oversized or undersized virtual machines, machines that are powered off, and any reclaimable resources that we may be able to get back from the environment. 
and it's also made up of the density batch, which is where we have set targets of possibly VM to physical host host subscription ratios, and it's showing us how we're meeting those targets. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the major changes from Vrealize Operations Manager 5.x to 6.x is that the major badges no longer have a score. This is because in version 5, the major badges score and color was directly determined by the minor badges that made them up. For example, the health badge would be a combination of high workload and high anomalies would cause the health to be red or low. In combination, if you also had any faults, the workload badge would then, and the health badge would then be, go immediately straight to red. Now, in Vivalize Operations Manager 6.0, this is no longer the case. The major badges are now actually based on the alert definitions you configure, and they impact the health, risk, and efficiency scores. However, the workload badges and the minor, other minor badges are still important when determining or troubleshooting particular issues within your environment. And we'll now dig into those in the next section. So that brings the section to a close. In this section, we went through how assist administrators in identifying issues, an overview of the major and minor badges, and some of the high-level changes between Vualize Operations Manager 5.x and Vualize Operations Manager 6.x.